Doggers, let's go through a couple changes we've made to this roading rig. You doggers know I rode young dogs. So this whole the whole principle here is the safety of their muscles, tendons, and joints. All right, so the first change that we made was uh, this was a welded support just to take out some of the flexibility. Um, so this is just welded and we had a tendency to get a weak spot right here. Uh, asked the welder for uh, a little bit more strength. All right, a little bit stiffer, um, a, little, a little extra support here, double collar. Now this is their, this is still a little bit older design, and uh, yeah, they're building me a new one on a little bit bigger rig, uh, 400 series. This is the latest, greatest spider arm. I think I think it's the right the right way to go. I'm gonna put Smokey's name and number in the video here. Here it is, and uh, I'm gonna also post it below. <laughs> when the video finishes, you'll see the number there. You can call Smokey Prairie View Farms, and uh, he can build you one of these. There's actually a lot that goes into this. I don't think you can get it built at your local uh, welder for 650 bucks. The time you order them. So anyhow, $650. Uh, hey, listen, I don't make anything on this. The spider arm design is something that I came up with because I love roading young dogs, right? I love roading young dogs, and I wanted to make it safe for them. And this... Uh, this rig has made it safe for them. I have never had an injury. Uh, you, you watched numerous videos probably by now of Silver Spur running as a young pup um, and generations before him. Some things to think about regarding this roading rig setup with these spider arms. For the new people getting into the sport of field trialing, um, they're gonna go out and get a roading rig and maybe it's a big UTV, heavy duty, weighs a lot. Uh, maybe they're roading down some country road, a pheasant, a woodcock, a grouse, prairie chicken, what have you, uh, gets up and the dogs peel off to the right or to the left and hit the end of the roading harness and boom. You know what? That's a lot of shock to the muscles, tendons, and joints. So here's what I'm thinking. Here's the thing. It's kind of to me, to me, that replicates riding a bike with no helmet. I like this roading rig setup. Look, uh, I think it's a, a safe setup. I think it's a little pricier than, uh, you know, the hundred or two hundred dollar setups. Yeah, I do. But I think uh, I think one injury prevented, one injury prevented. Yeah, well, that's worth it all day long to me. You know what? I don't have anything to add. Uh, individual choice. This is just one more option to look at. I think it's a good option. If you like the video hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and please share the videos. Hey, there's a little bell up in the corner. Hit that bell and you'll get notifications every time a new video is launched. All right, that's it. We're checking out. Thanks for watching.